Rennie and Paris is sponsored by Mercy. Your life is our life's work. Right now, our Rennie Knot is in Paris following our local athletes as they vie for gold and exploring all that Paris has to offer. He's joining us live this morning near the Eiffel Tower. But Rennie, you've been pounding the pavement out there and it sounds like you found another incredible structure a little bit farther away from all of the chaos of the city, huh? further away. I mean, right now I'm about 200 or so yards away from the Eiffel Tower off to my right here behind me, the Trocadero, where over there a lot of the TV crews are set up to do their live shots from here in Paris. Yes, there's a lot of activities going on around the city when it comes to the Olympics and the competitions, but there's also some great sights to see. And I discovered one that may be colossal to say the least. It is a place where the calmness of nature flows into a landscape of man-made structures where skyscrapers tower over the giant works of art, structures dwarfed even more by the Grand Arch. Grand may be an understatement. Designed as a tribute to humanity, the Grand Arch stretches 360 feet skyward, the opening large enough to fit Notre Dame Cathedral, steps take visitors up for a view of Paris. The Arc de Triomphe, which is nearly three miles away, can be seen off in the distance. Elevators once took people even higher, but are no longer in use. But this area continues to buzz as a business district, offering restaurants, entertainment. The Grand Arch itself has office spaces. And yet, with all of that, there is also peace here in the artistic beauty one finds in nature. It truly is a sight to behold to go there because not only is the grand arch just enormous, but there's also all that nature around it with the flowers and the trees and the fountains. It's very peaceful. At the same time, you can really get into a lot of things going on there. There's a theater, there's restaurants, it is a happening spot. Throughout my time here in Paris, I'm going to try to take you around as much as possible to some of the other locations in down, and all of them seem to just be more and more impressive as you go from day to day to day. Now, coming up in the 6.30 half hour of the day in St. Louis, we're going to speak with our local Olympian, Jaden Ulrich. She represents East Alton and Wood River. She's here to throw the discus. She's here to go from the gold. We'll hear from her coming up in just a few minutes. Reporting live in Paris, I'm Renee Knott.